A lot of people wish they could be a couple of inches taller, but for one woman, that desire went far beyond a vanity dream. She was born with a form of dwarfism that made everyday tasks a challenge. So she chose to endure a series of extremely painful, risky, and controversial surgeries, defying the odds and growing over a foot taller. ABC's Juju Chang brings us the story. Happy birthday to you. It's as if every birthday wish Tiffany D. Donato ever made came true. Thank you. <laughs> but as a woman who once stood only three foot six, her childhood dreams play out in simple everyday little victories. Okay, ready? Totally. Driving. <laughs> Marrying my dream guy. Having a home. Having just a normal life, you know, doing things that a lot of people take for granted, turning on a light switch, washing my hands, cooking. That's what I wanted. And I feel like that was worth the risk, you know, all or nothing. It's all possible because Tiffany endured an excruciating and controversial series of limb lengthening surgeries that literally break the bones and force them to regrow longer. At a very tender age, Tiffany had to weigh the risks and rewards with a lifetime of consequences in the balance. More. How many surgeries do you think you had going on? <laughs> Too many to count. Tiffany was born with a rare form of dwarfism. Her body was typical size, but her arms and legs would never fully grow. And what's interesting about this photo is look at the size of the box compared to me in a just regular prison. At age eight, she had her first surgery to gain length in her arms and four inches in her legs. Describe the post-surgical pain. It hurts so much, you freeze. It almost like if you scream, it's going to hurt worse. You know, all you can do is just kind of let the tears fall and deal with it. Tiffany wanted to do the ghastly surgery again, and this time ignore the recommended four-inch maximum limit. Why did you feel so strongly that you wanted her to have it? It was all about independence. It was doing things on her own, brushing her own hair. Um, my biggest fear was her being dependent on others for her care, because I mean, let's face it, Jerry and I won't be around forever. But Dad Jerry really struggled and opposed his daughter's surgery, and it was torture, he says, to see her suffer. Very nerve-wracking. You know, she'd cry out. Uh, it was tough. And as a parent, watching your child cry out in pain, what is that like? It's horrible. Uh, I'm starting to choke up just thinking I'm about it. Tiffany gained an unprecedented 10 additional inches of height, putting her at 4 foot 10. It took about 14 hours. Yes. Dr. Yeah, Errol Mortimer was well. Tiffany's orthopedic yeah. surgeon and allowed her to go beyond the safety recommendations. What allowed Tiffany to gain 14 inches of height, which seems like an unbelievable number? Incredible tenacity. Tiffany has incredible tenacity. She, there were many occasions when she and I talked about stopping the procedure and accepting a compromise, six inches or eight inches or 10 inches but she just wanted to keep going with it. At the end of the day, what helps you get through it? I kept my journal. I was as honest with myself. If I wanted to die, then I felt like, you know, that's what I wanted to do, and I wrote it down. Her journal turned into a memoir she defiantly titled Dwarf. In it, she chronicles her no pain, no gain view of life and how surprisingly grateful she is for the experience. If you go through struggle, if you know what sacrifice is, and you feel a little pain, it makes you that much braver. She got a lot of criticism from people who point out that little people of America do not support the risky surgery. And there are those who think that this is a surgery that shouldn't be done. This is an operation that potentially can dramatically change your life for the better. It does have its risks, and those who advocate against it have uh, legitimate reasons for concern. Reza Gorakhani was also born with dwarfism and says he regrets that his father pushed him back in the 80s to have it. He was 12. I did not want to undergo a painful procedure, which in my mind, I was worried that what if this failed? For a few inches, I didn't want to damage my, my life. I was happy with who I am. Unlike Tiffany, Reza says the surgery left him paralyzed. Before, I was just an average dwarf. I could run around. I could play sports, I could swim and do things. I would have rather been three feet tall 
then be, you know, a few inches taller with all the complications. Tiffany says she has no regrets. I don't feel like I was being reckless. I was aware of the risk. Her strength and risk taking were admired by a nearly six foot tall Marine named Eric Gabriels. Why did you fall in love with her? Oh, why didn't I? It's probably the better question. I mean, she's she's so powerful and so strong. And you know, be, being in the military, you need somebody that you know she she's been through her own battles. You know, so she knows exactly how to support me through mine. They've been happily married for four years and now have a baby boy, Titan. Tiffany is in a new role she never expected. It's just wonderful to know that I can take care of my son. It's a hat that I never thought I'd wear. Now I wear it with pride. Tiffany seems to personify the military's fighting philosophy, adapt and overcome. I already have everything I ever wanted. More of it. More of it. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Jacksonville, North Carolina.